While atropine eye drops have been used to treat myopia in children here since the 1990s, there have been concerns about the possible long-term side effects, such as glare and blurring of near vision. Assurance has now come from a local study that finds that such drops are safe, with no complications 10 to 20 years after treatment. The Atropine Treatment Long-Term Assessment Study Atlas, conducted by researchers at the Singapore National Eye Center SNEC and the Singapore Eye Research Institute SERI, is believed to be the first study on the long-term safety of these eye drops. Used to treat and test various eye conditions, atropine eye drops can be used to slow down the progress of myopia in children and teenagers. However, in higher doses, the enlarged pupils caused by the drug could make children sensitive to light and blur their near vision. Myopia rates here are high, with as many as 9 in 10 Singaporean adults expected to be myopic by 2050, up to a quarter of whom may have high myopia. Atlas built on two earlier studies, Atropine Treatment of Myopia Atom 1, which was conducted between 1996 and 2002, and Atom 2, conducted from 2006 to 2012. Each involved 400 children between ages 6 and 12. In Atom 1, the 400 myopic children were given either a placebo, such as normal saline solution, or high-dose atropine, of 1% concentration, for two years, followed by a year without treatment. In Atom 2, 400 children with myopia were given atropine eye drops of varying concentrations, either 0.01%, 0.1%, or 0.5%, for two years, followed by a year without treatment. Those whose myopia worsened by more than 0.5 degree were treated with atropine of 0.01% concentration for another two years. The Atlas study found that even after 20 years, there was no difference in incidences of complications such as cataracts or myopic macular degeneration between those treated with the 1% concentration atropine and those given the placebo. Associate Professor Audrey Chia, who heads Snack's Pediatric Ophthalmology and Adult Strabismus Department, said the Atlas findings showed that atropine was safe to use, with no long-term adverse effects. Adverse effects appeared to be related more to the degree of the participant's myopia rather than the treatment the person received, added Professor Chia, principal investigator for the two atom studies. The findings were published in peer-reviewed medical journal JOMA Ophthalmology in November. Atlas Principal Investigator Associate Professor Marcus Ang said many still have questions about the long-term effects of atropine. One thing that I keep getting asked still by my patients and parents is whether they will get cataracts or will they lose their ability to read when they're old, added the head of the corneal and external eye disease as well as refractive surgery departments at SNEC. Cataracts are a cloudy area in an eye lens and can impair vision. He noted that among the limitations of the study was that only 71 of those who participated in ATOM, one returned for the Atlas study. While just 158 from the second cohort took part in the new study. Professor Ong acknowledged that while this was just a fraction of the original cohorts, the researchers ensured that the Atlas participants were representative of the larger group in areas such as age, race and level of myopia. The study noted that questions remained about the effectiveness of atropine in slowing down myopia. There were no differences in spherical equivalent or axial length, which are indicators of myopia, or the prevalence of high myopia among the different groups of participants. The researchers said. This could be due to reasons such as there being no benefit from short-term treatment or rebound effects following the abrupt stoppage of atropine, the study noted. These observations raise several research questions that warrant further study. The duration of atropine treatment required to provide a sustained outcome when treatment can be stopped. And whether tapering dosage or continuing treatment into the mid-teenage years, it said. 
Findings by the United States Pediatric Eye Disease Investigator Group, published in JOMA Ophthalmology in July 2023, suggested that low-dose atropine eye drops were no more effective than placebos at slowing down the progression of myopia in children treated for two years. Professor Chia noted, however, that several other studies, conducted in countries such as Japan and China, showed the effectiveness of the drops. She suggested that the difference in results could be down to other factors, such as lifestyle choices or the difference in myopia progression rates among children of different ethnicities. Professor Ang stressed that there are now a variety of treatments for myopia, and that it falls upon parents to work with medical professionals in identifying the risk of myopia early in their children and choosing an appropriate intervention method. You need to find the best solution for your child. Something that your child and you are prepared to do together, he said.